Okay, so high point C9, 9 millimeter. What? He just bought it and we tore it apart. We didn't have a clue. But what we did, oh, let me see if I can get my camera. Alright, so the gun was all together. When you pull back, you'll see the pin, the bead out. We'll show you that later on when we go put it back together. But we took off this side cover and everything fell apart. So what I'm going to do is actually, well, it's almost back together now that we figured it out. I mean, I watched a lot of videos and nobody bothered to tell us this. So I'm going to just finish putting these little pieces back in and then hopefully we can show you. I am not an expert. It's just for him later on in life to figure it back out. So do your own stuff. So alright, so we took off the side. So what you have, you know, where did she go? Maybe if I close that curtain, the video's better and see it more then that might be it. But alright, so on the side. Alright, this here. See, I don't know all the technical terms, guys. This is my first time playing with one of these pistols. I shouldn't say playing because it's serious. So, But this part is just pops out. This is your magazine clip. From what I hear, some guys leave it out. Some guys put it back in. What it does is it just sits in there. And it sits down here and it sits in here. When you put the magazine in, where is the magazine? I don't know what he did with it. But what it does when you put the magazine in, it'll lift it up. And then by doing that, see, it'll pick this up just a little bit. By doing that, it allows this to bypass, allows it to dry fire. So that's what that's for. So they leave them out, put them back in. Well, it's up to you. You do what you want on your stuff. Don't do nothing, I tell you. All right. Don't be scared about taking stuff apart. So the basic, you know, that just pops off. Um, this up here, so you can see it. See, we can see there was a spring and something else in here. And all these other videos I watched, nobody bothered to explain what the hell it was. So, the reason we took the handle off, you can hear it. Well, what that is... What the hell do you call it? We got the instruction things here. Counterweight. Um, hey! What was the name of that part that was rattling? What's it called? The counterweight? Is that all it was? Uh, yeah, the counterweight and counterweight pin. Okay, the counterweight and counterweight pin. We could hear it rattling in the gun, so that's why we took the side cover off. And then, Oh, okay. And get the cover off. What it does... We couldn't figure it, so we just kind of started pulling or whatever. But you can see there's a couple little, and we're just going to say tits or whatever, that go down inside here. So you got to push up on it. So what that does, it pops your side off, but that rattling, okay, that's your counterweight, and there's a counterweight pin. So what you do up on this side here is you pull this off. No big deal. There's a little spring underneath it. Now there's two sides. The counterweight spring. Or pin, I'm sorry. So that can just lift up. See, it's all held down by that piece we just pulled out with a spring. Sorry, I'm just trying to do this by myself. So Just pull it out towards you. Now what will happen... Is at the bottom of the gun this piece will fall out it took us a long time to figure out where this piece went because nobody bothered to tell us so that slides up in there there's a couple little grooves a track that slides up in there and that then that pin up top fits in there then it just pops down and, and stays inside that slot. And then that piece goes back in the middle with the spring. So we're just going to pull that out for it right now. <coughs> now on the other side. 
well there's a pin that pin stays in but there is oh, there we go he just tapped it a couple times that little piece there and there's a spring in there too so sorry you can't really see it but I will get it out just give me half a second we'll dig that spring out maybe we had this all fall apart on us and we didn't have a clue so we've been spending 20 minutes figuring it all out but okay so basically there everything is out of there now we're gonna put it together hey why don't you come in here and watch me do this once so you got a clue you're t done so <coughs> all right so we got the counterweight out we got all this top part out the reason a lot of guys tear it apart is they don't like the powder coating on the slide here so a lot of guys will file that well not file but sand it down so it's smooth supposedly that'll help with the loading and that some go up in a little farther and that but uh all right you first start out with this part let's see okay you can see the part what i did is i put the spring on it uh, come on i can barely grab the spring huh it just sprung on me oh there it is all right so my fingers are so big and uh, all right a little piece spring sits on there like that are you ready so what you do be on the left side of the gun is slide it under that pin Jen you got a flashlight real quick maybe that help these people will be able to see this like I said, no other video showed us this side of the gun putting these springs and stuff in. Yeah, that really ain't that bright. Let her grab that good light. Sorry, everybody. <coughs> Alright, just shine up here. Alright, so that piece. We got the spring in there already. Hold on, I gotta turn the damn. You can see the spring just slides underneath the pin. If you put it in wrong, it won't let it the, that top piece slide across there, okay? So that piece is in. So next we got to do the slide. Okay, so as it sits in there, the groove slide side sits toward your magazine, all right? So you see at the very top of it, it's got a hole. That's for... This L pin to sit in there and then lay down. So slide it up the groove. Just push it in there, hold your finger in there holding it, alright? Now you take the little pin on the top. And you can just barely see it sticking out. Hook it in there. Then that spring clips down like that. See how it does it? You see the spring. And you got this piece. And that just slides on top so that holds both sides down okay now you take your finger out of the bottom and everything is held down let me see this light real quick See which way that notch goes on that. All right. So there's that. Another reason it's not going all the way down is the way the safety is. So you can rock the safety down. 
and it looks like it slides in there but if you put the thing on with the spring on the left the wrong way it's not going to let it go down all right back okay yeah I was busy talking make sure i put it the right way all right so that holds that now on the side this is everybody shows the side good so basically you put this piece up in there hook it in there first and kind of push it down well, I don't feel like it's all the way clicking down or something oh it don't I got it wedged underneath there which it don't do that <laughs> getting in there seeing that all right so sorry we got that piece back in there that okay there's the pin all right so now we got the clip safety thing that just falls down in there this oh that's what he said wasn't that for holding the magazine in this little piece and the other guy he bent his a lot and then he said once you screw it down it'll uh hold it in place and straighten it out he said what it is some guys will be shooting and then i guess the magazine will fall out so put that in there like that so we got everything together in there we got that back in the magazine thing the magazine holder or whatever sorry guys I have no idea what parts names this for the magazine safety for dry firing from what I can tell then we got out the top so we're out of parts and this just slides down inside pushes down clips in Phillips screw. So there's that. Okay. Safety might not work until everything's together, right? I don't. Should. should go now or later? Yeah, should go now. Oh, on this here. The guy called it a doll on the one. So he said it don't matter which way it goes then. Okay, you got your strike head. That's it for inside here. He said there's a pen back here if you want to tear it farther down. He said on just average there ain't none. The other guy's guns, they've showed us all nice and shiny in there. This is a brand new, never shot, right? Alright, so you got the pen. That goes in first. Then there's two springs, a small one and a fat one. They just slide in there. Then they call it, he's at a doll head. I don't know what to say on the thing. Slide retainer. Slide retainer. So that just slides in. It didn't matter which way it went in because it's the same on both. Okay, there's that. All right. Thinking the rest is you. Which way does this go now? By the way. So turn this around like that. Or are we at a point again where we're stupid? So that sets in there like that. Guess we should have finished putting the gun together, but I want to show everybody the main side. That's what we couldn't figure out. But in order to 
do the pin, you pull it all the way back, set the safety or whatever, and then we beat the pin out. That's all it is. You just beat the pin out back here. You know, we just had a small screwdriver punch or whatever. So, but I hope that helps you put the gun back together. And on this side, nobody explained it in all them videos. Sorry. Now it's our turn to learn again how to play with a barrel. I hope this helps. Like I said, don't take any of my advice. This is just so he knows how to put his gun back later on. It's not for training or anything. Good luck.